microbreweries. They seem to be popping up everywhere these days, and currently there are none in Kingsville, but that's about to change. Mm -hmm. One family decided to combine their brewing and cooking skills to open a new restaurant there. Our Michael Gibson has the story from Kingsville. We're here along 14th Street in Kingsville, and for the past three years, this sirloin stockade has sat vacant. But now, one local group has decided to open this place up, and they're going to turn it into a first-class smokehouse. We've been going heavy at it for a few months now. Uh, Justin Bray took us on a tour of the old the restaurant that he once away, worked at back in the 90s. He and his brother, along with their father, decided to turn this place into the Bray's Smokehouse. It needs a lot of work. Uh, we, we went through, like I said, and did the the plumbing, the electrical, the roofing, the air conditioning work now. Uh, we've got most of the stuff gutted out and demoed. Workers are busy trying to get this remodel finished by the end of the year so the Braves can open up for business. People around town are definitely excited because the Braves are known for winning barbecue contests and for catering events around town. First off, I'm excited about the quality of this food. Justin has done competition barbecue for a number of years um, and not just competed, actually won at competition barbecues. Another big part of the business will be a microbrewery, which will be running inside here. Justin's brother is going to be in charge of that part of the business. He's proven to be a very talented uh, beer brewer, and I've been a very talented beer drinker, so it's been a good partnership for us. City officials had to make some changes to existing ordinances to even allow for the microbrewery. Because uh, you're actually doing, I would say, some light, very light manufacturing, obviously. You're making your beer on site. You're not getting trucked in with a barrel or anything like that. So we had to add that definition to make sure we were clear on that. You know, we're real appreciative for what they've done as far as kind of really digging into to some of the wording and some of the verbiage in, in our city ordinances and do what they can to make something like this, you know, more accessible to, to prospective business owners. Justin also told us that he spent a number of years in the food business, and he's excited about finally achieving his dream of owning his own restaurant. He believes that his barbecue, potato salad, and micro-brewed beer should bring in plenty of customers to make all of this hard work finally pay off. From Kingsville, Michael Gibson, 3 News.